Hello, another day in Boom Beach. Welcome to my channel, Three of Friends Boom Beach Strategy. So today we will do something different. Uh, my junior brother used my ID and attacked in a base um, to learn something. Anyways, um, he is. Um, pushing his VP right now so he is trying to learn about three offense attacks because it will help him in his push so what I will do I will uh, share his attacks uh, RZM attack mainly and uh, I will try to explain his uh, mistakes in this attacks I mean what you should do and uh, what you can do okay so this is the one anyways so this is just a uh, uh, two offense uh, base maybe yes two one two I can see anymore so what he did uh, he he destroyed the lift um, rocket launcher first and um, deploy his uh, troops on the left side so it is not um, helping I mean it will not help him anyways let's just uh, focus on his attacks So the first player he used over there, this is uh, uh, totally meaningless as you have very limited amount of gunboat energy, you can't misuse it in a base like this. And the second mistake is really hard to cover all the troops under one smoke, I mean in this stage after the new update so one reverse smoke and uh, you have to um, smoke it like uh, in uh, two smoke so this is not helping anyways this uh, flare is another mistake while leaving the um, rocket launcher there you can do like this and this is a terrible mistake he did grappler with gunboat energy even you are not boosted this is terrible he could uh, uh, destroy this uh, shock launcher which is highly demanding and I don't know what he is doing uh, that boom cannon this is a single point be, uh, defensive building structure while uh, shock launcher and uh, rocket launcher is continuously destroying his troops he failed to destroy those look now he doesn't have sufficient troop to destroy this base So what he could do, uh, he could just destroy this uh, shock launcher first, then he could focus on the left side as he, he did. Anyways, uh, so I uh, gave my attack and uh, I will now share that one and I will and you can see how did I manage. Three offense is always very challenging, you know. You have very limited amount of gunboat energy. As you can see, I destroyed the uh, right rocket launcher and shock launcher because uh, they will irritate me once I go on the left side.
one pack of critter to destroy those uh, uh, I mean to distract those shock launcher and the grappler together what I was trying to do I was just clearing some front defenses especially the grappler because uh, it will continuously take uh, my rifleman and suka medics and once i destroyed that uh, rocket launcher over there and also along with that deadly mortar i just took my troops on the left side then again on the left middle side I didn't shock that uh, shock launcher because uh, um, it will help me to gather my troops in one place and uh, uh, I need to shock that mortar definitely because uh, it's deadly in there if one mortar and uh, RL is continuously shooting on my troops my uh, troop can't uh, take that damage No, I could destroy uh, this base without uh, destroying that shield but uh, it will be very risky because the health is uh, still high and uh, those two boom cannon uh, could uh, kill all my troops one by one. So I thought it's better to kill that uh, shield first and also that mortar then I could focus uh, on the HQ because there is no shield right now and uh, we can easily destroy it as there is a flamethrower and a, a machine gun so I decided not to spend any more critters rather I could uh, I can use uh, two shock that will save a lot of my troops anyways so it's done another base is there it's also two eyes without any boost but there is a deadly hot pot and also shock bluster both are uh, level 3 and it can destroy my troops within a second so I think that the critters on the front side was totally unnecessary look what he did uh, he shot the uh, sh uh, shock launcher and mortar but uh, he didn't shock that flamethrower he could shock that flamethrower too but uh, he missed it and uh, this is this cost him a med kit see that mortar in a normal time uh, our rifleman can take one shock oh sorry one uh, shot from the mortar but when uh, our rocket launcher is continuously shooting and the mortar damage uh, will kill your troops so you have you can see now that uh, you he can never finish this base at this position anyways now we will try this base I mean I will try this base maybe a live attack maybe not I'm going to I am I, I will try to destroy this uh, even uh, my attack can be failed too but let's see uh, so 
we will go from the left side but uh, we need to destroy that uh, shock launcher on the right uh, the rule is uh, that uh, if you destroy that uh, uh, shock launcher on the right uh, you uh, you can avoid it I mean this uh, shock launcher on the left uh, it will come in your way at any way you can't uh, uh, avoid it so it's better to destroy this at the beginning and um, another thing is uh, that uh, uh, if you avoid those uh, avoid that shock launcher on the right it will irritate you once you go on the left in too deep so one barrage and uh, two artillery will be enough i guess so let's move on the left corner so once i destroy that uh, uh, sniper tower i'm going forward one mid kit is necessary at this moment another one in here oh i missed that flamethrower see it looks so easy at this moment my troops are totally fanned out and now I can heat one uh, critters over there anyways you see how easily I uh, took it down no smoke entry or nothing But it could be devastating if I miss that shock on hot pot. Anyways, just got a news that uh, rifle mania is coming very soon. Hope you will, you guys will enjoy it very much. Thanks for watching. It was a long episode though. Please don't forget to subscribe uh, if uh, you like my videos. Uh, and uh, share your comments uh, in the comment section i would definitely try to give feedback on your comments uh, and uh, if you want to see any more uh, strategies uh, or attack uh, definitely comment it i will uh, try to make videos on those strategies okay bye for today